bin ja hier. <lacht> Those who normally go shopping at Petco, you find it much cheaper here. <lacht>
drink not in peril, for there is nothing to fear. It is true, I'm enormous, but all of my figure is spirit, not flesh, so it makes me look bigger. For I can flutter through walls that would baffle Houdini, for I am the true and original genie. And if anyone mentions my light brown hair, well, I've heard it before, so there. Anyway, to prove that I'm not an unsociable devil, I will bring myself down to your human size level. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
complete in this first rubbish in the first place. And now I'm here, I'm going to say just what I like and just how I like it.
as dim as I may seem, I know a secret that I won't tell you. I don't care. Well, I do. What's it about? Isn't you shy? Yes, she's got a sweetheart, and he's just oh, fine. Oh, do please tell. Do we know him? She won't know him. She's too dim. She may not, but I do. I have seen him come to woo. He's good, but poor Sir Hat he can't win. It's Widow Franklin's son, young Albert Lavin. Oh, poor Shushan, her mum will scold. She didn't do as she was told. Her father, who can't stand the dead, will go and look for his bottle of gin. Remembering the Empress permits me to say, we really must hurry and allow no delay. We'll all be in trouble if the washing is late. So hop at the door, her highness won't wait.
for sure. <laughs> now, Shushine, my daughter, I pray you come hither and practice your singing whilst I play the zither. <laughs>
camels be exceedingly fertile. <laughs> Back to a scene where, in contrast, we find Widow Twanky, not utterly fine, who now employs all and sundry to work for a pittance in her down and out laundry.
Yeah, quick, use my hanky. <laughs> I, I think you've met Annie Barber of the Red Revolution. We give her a soapbox. She gives us the solution. <laughs> Poor Wendy. My mother ill treats the working class. Can I help? Yes, keep there. Pass the handkerchief, if you please, and ignore that ill-mannered Chinese. Wishy, I can help, but you must join the party. You'll get cups of tea and a slice of jam tarty. <laughs> Watch it, Maggie Pants. My boss will be here soon. Oh, that will be Kenneth Livingston, I presume. <laughs>
worried off, Pat. But here's another one. Better than that. Not only have I got a Polgolian wand, <laughs> I've got a Polgolian domino. <laughs> you saucy kids who made me forget my line in the first place. <laughs>
in the cave, ruminating. I might as well clean up this lamp while I'm waiting. I'll step to work with the sleeve of my shirt. And I'll start to remove all these layers of dirt. But before he can get even half of it clean, an enormous great genie appears on the scene. <laughs> I said, an enormous great genie appears on the scene. <laughs> well, where is he? Why didn't he go at the interval like everybody else did? <laughs> Yes, 
I, I thought it might have it mend the rent. A gesture can have its uses, and I've got nothing to lose. Plenty, madam, they've plenty gesture, that sister. Like.
be. Never harbour old rubbish. You know what I mean. I'm joking you are not. Uh, please don't bother to come. But I'd like to. Good night, she. You're squeamish, dear mortals, your eyes quickly veil. For here comes the sorriest part of our tale. Adonaza, he said, Al's wicked old unk, makes his entrance disguised as a dealer in junk. <laughs> <laughs> Exception for me, couldn't you? 
Oh, go on. Be a sport. Look here. I'll tell you what. If you bring her back, I'll give that Abenaz a what for. I'll make sure he never bothers you. Wonderful lamp. I'll lamp him all right.
away for a day at the races. Oh, it's not Ascot or Epsom or Goodwood you'll see, or even Newmarket or Yarmouth, that race by the sea. No, Flip Stick Common is the place <laughs> where we go. So, hurry up now, don't be slow. For oh, here comes the spectators, <coughs> and I'm sure you'll agree. What a jolly good show they put on, and that includes our maestro Chris Weaver here.
happy. Brian is content. The Empress is smiling. And as for this gent, apprentice to Richard Stubble, he'll be to entertain at parties. His service is free.
Pat, our producer director, who's put up with many tantrums and we're very grateful. So thank you all of us. Thank you very much.